actually have a pause in game and I think we're going to be good to go. Okay, yeah, so looks like we're fine. All right, so welcome back in, guys, to the Red Bull Global Qualifiers number two, numero dos, numero dva. We have over here at the top left side of the map, we have Squirtle. We'll see what he's going to be able to do on a merry-go-round versus his opponent over at the top right side of the map. A Protoss player himself representing CJ Entis. It is Trust. I gotta make sure that I got actually Squirtle's info right. Hold on. Squirtle. It's the beautiful thing about not being on the official stream. I actually have a chance to kind of move. Okay, yeah, okay. So he's not he's not on Startail right now. I'm pretty sure he's not. Okay. Curly team. Okay, so yeah, no, I had to make sure I'm like... <sighs> Dude, like I'm telling you, there's a lot of players that you have to keep track of. There's a lot of... Act like, there's movements, teams that's paying people, players leaving, players retiring, players coming back. North America, South Korea, Europe, you got China, you got... There's so... so in games happening every single damn day and just... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make sure, man. You gotta make sure. Alright, so we're uh, getting this PvP going. It is a round of 32, so let me make sure I got that right too as well, man. I'm 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 slipping I'm slipping up right now. Let me make sure I got that right as well. Where are they at in the bracket? Pretty sure it's round of 32. Yeah, it's well. Hold on. Squirtle. Try. Yeah. Okay. It's round of 32, man. I I had to double check, man. I had to double check. I don't want to like mislead or give you guys wrong information. That's that's even worse, man. False information is even worse. Alright, so PvP on a three-player map can be very interesting as we already see. Uh, looks like Trust is going to be going for a proxy. He's got triple gas. Now, as the Cybercore finishes up, he's got a couple options. He could either, of course, go for Twilight over there, proxy to go pro proxy DTs or proxy blink potentially, or he could go proxy Stargate. Now, with this positioning, he's good for proxy Stargate just due to the fact that it's very close to the bottom location as well as it's not really too far of a trip over to the north-left side. Now, due to the fact that the probe is scouting him already, he's going to show that he's going to build a Mothership Core first, and then he's going to add the Stargate. Now, this is very important, because if you guys are not too familiar with PvP, if you don't show the Mothership Core as soon as you possibly can, as soon as that Cyber Core finishes up, uh, due to your opponent seeing the three gas, he's going to think that you're proxying a Stargate somewhere. So, by showing that Mothership Core, he might be more ten tempted to think that it's going to be Blink, that after uh, the Mothership Core comes out and the Cyber Core starts the upgrade, he'll drop the Blink. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Twilight Counter for the Blink upgrade. Now, um, we'll see how passive or how defensive Squirtle decides to be. Usually, at this point, we see uh, players starting to put Stalkers within their Mineral line. We see the Twilight Council getting added, so we could potentially have actually... Uh, Squirtle may be going for some DTs himself and also Blink as well. But Mothership Core coming out in the middle of the map. It's got to be floating across. I wonder if he's actually going to float all the way across. This is one of the dangers because we already see the Oracle is about to come out. The Oracle is in the way. Trust knows that he's not at the bottom location over here. And look at Trust. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trust going Oracle and on top of the Oracle he's putting down the Twilight Council. Now this is very interesting because you don't see this too often. Double tech like this can really throw an opponent off. Now, it looks like, po uh, sorry, I keep saying positive, but Squirtle, he's going to be going f for Blink. He's got a Stalker. He's got the second one coming back in the mineral line. Now, we saw this the other day. Three Stalkers wasn't even enough to prevent four to five workers from getting killed, so we'll see how quickly he starts focusing down workers. Two, three, four, five... See if he's going to be able to get any more. No, with the third stalker, that'll push him off. And he's going to keep the Oracle alive as well. Very efficient. So with three stalkers eventually able to still get what looked to be about five workers. And indeed it was. Very efficient playstyle. Now, this probe is still hanging out. He's going to... Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, I'm like, is he going to start the blinker? Or is he going to throw down the dark shrine? Now, this is a double whammy. This is going to throw some opponents off. Because he saw the Oracle, he's going to think that his opponent's, you know, just playing absolutely normal. Even if, uh, you know, there was a potential for more additional scout from positive, he, I mean, from Squirtle, he would have been able to only see, really, the robotics base. So, now he's going to think that he could play this game normally. He's not going to have to worry about too much. But, big problems over here. While Squirtle just continually goes into blink, he's got no robotics bay behind this. He might have a frontal attack, but the problem is the Dark Shrine's going to finish up very soon. If he can start already defending over here on his side of the map, he's got the Photon Overcharge as well, if he keeps the Mothership Core over here. He's got a lot of time to be able to actually defend. Start sniping down the pylon. 
We'll have to be careful out of Mikers doesn't want to lose any stalkers too too early. There we go. Pushes another one out. Blink is finished up though. So we'll see. This is gonna be very kind of moment by moment type of thing. Still we do have three stalkers over in the mineral line. Oracle does come in. Uh, tries to pick off any workers, doesn't get any, but the Stalker isn't able to kill the Oracle either. So he thinks he's still got the Stargate basically played out. The thing he's not going to know about is once these DTs come through, he's got no Robo anywhere around. There we go, Photon Overcharge is going to push off and due to the long time, uh, he's not going to be able to actually push through to him. Mortal's going to come out that's going to help fend off. The first DT is already getting warped in. Second DT actually getting warped in as well. He's going to be heading over here to the north left side. Now, where is the detection? Where, as soon as these DTs get inside, I think we're going to just see a GG come out from Squirrel because what can he do? He's going to maybe try to jump hop up here, but another Photon Overcharge is available. We already have the second Immortal underway. I don't know right now why Trust is actually going down onto the low ground. Very poor decision right there. There we go. Just stay at the high ground. Let your, uh, yeah, GG. So, <laughs> like I said, as soon as those DTs get in the middle line, we should see GG. Without detection, without any opportunity to actually do anything with the Stalkers, uh, he has to leave the game because... Well, I mean, it's one or the other. What, he, he pulls off the workers, runs off the mineral line, and then just loses maybe potentially the Nexus or a bunch of pylons, buildings, units, you know? He's going to lose. It, it's going to be way too cost ineffective for him to try to, you know, stay throughout this game. So, very interesting playstyle from Trust. I'm going to say I've not seen that in pro games too. That's very rare. Not too often. Very, very rare. To not only throw down the Stargate, but to double proxy even further... A Twilight Council and then a Dark Shrine, man. You're, you, and then also you're being safe enough to throw down a Robo all off of one base, man. Hitting almost every tech path you possibly can. That was crazy.